Tulman Daya Adika Bayi Mumjan Tija Suraya Tejo Baring Daja Tavini Mayo Jatra Tisa Tumisa Vasya Sadani Rasta Kubatam Satyam Param Dimahi Namas Vina Sadani Rasta Kubatam Satyam Param Dimahi Oh my Lord Sri Krishna, son of Vasudeva. Oh, my Lord, Sri Krishna, son of Vasudeva. Oh, all pervading personality of Godhead. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. And the primary cause of all causes. Of the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the manifested universes. He is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations. And he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him. It is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge unto the heart of Brahmaji. The original living being. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. As one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen on fire or land seen on water. <clears throat> Only because of him do the material universes temporarily manifested by the reactions of the three modes of nature appear factual, although they are unreal. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna, who has eternally existed in the transcendental abode, which is forever free from the illusory representations of the material world. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. Dharma projita kaitra Paramo nirmatsaranam satam. Vedyam vastavam atra vastu. Sivadam tapa trayon mulanam. Shimad bhagavate mahamuni krite. Kimva prayer ishwaraha. Sadyur hidi avurudyate tra. Krite bihi susu subish takshana. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth. <clears throat> the highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. I'm sorry. Okay. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. The highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. Such truth uproots the threefold miseries. This beautiful Bhagavatam compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity is sufficient in itself for God-realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established within his heart. Nigama kalpaturor galitam falam sukumakad amritam dravya samyatam Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam Mahur Aho Raska Bhuvi Bhavukaha Oh, expert and thoughtful man, relish Shimad Bhagavatam. The mature fruit of the desire to read Vedic literatures. It emanated from the lips of Sri Sukadeva Goswami. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful. Although his nectarian juice is already relishable for all. 
including liberated souls. Shinvatam Swakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Hidyantaksto Badrani Vidunati Suhitsatam To hear about Krishna from Vedic literatures or to hear from him directly through the Bhagavad Gita. is itself righteous activity. And for one who hears about Lord Krishna, I'm sorry, and for one who hears about Krishna, Lord Krishna, who is dwelling within everyone's heart, acts as a best-wishing friend and purifies the devotee who constantly engages in hearing of him. Nastapresu Bhatresu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naisaki In this way, a devotee develops his dormant transcendental knowledge. As he hears more about Krishna from the Bhagavatam and from the devotees, he becomes fixed in the devotional service of the Lord. Tadarajas tamo bhavu Kamalo bhadayas chaye Chaita itar anavidam Stitvam sattve prasidhanti By development of devotional service, one becomes freed from the modes of passion and ignorance. And thus, material lusts and avarice are diminished. Evam prasana manaso Bhagavad bhakti yogataha Bhagavad tattva vijnana Mukta sangha sijayate When these impurities are wiped away the candidate remains steady in his position of pure goodness becomes enlivened by devotional service and understands the science of God perfectly. Vidyate Hridaya Grantis Shidyante Sarvasamsaya Shiyante Chashikarmani Just Evad Manishwari Thus Bhakti Yoga severs the hard knot of material affection. And it, it enables, enables one, one to, to come to the stage of samsayam samagram. Understanding of the Supreme Absolute Truth Personality Godhead. Right. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 15, Verse Number 9. Your respectable younger brother who possesses the strength Yatejasanri Pasiro Nikirin. Oh no, okay, it's number eight, I'm sorry. It's number eight, yeah. Yatsani Dabaham Ukandavam Agnayetam. Indram Chasamara Ganam Tarasa Vijitya. Labda Sabamaya Kritabhuta Sila Maya Silpa Maya. Dibhyo Haramri Patayo Balim Advarete. Because he was near to me, it was possible for me to conquer with great dexterity the powerful king of heaven, Indra Deva. 
along with his demigod associates, and thus enable the fire god to devastate the Kandava forest. And only by his grace was the demon named Maya saved from the blazing Kandava forest, and thus we could build our assembly house of wonderful architectural workmanship, where all the princes assembled during the performance of Rajasuya Yagya and paid you tributes. Arjuna is remembering all these exceptional things that he was able to do by the mercy of the Lord. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. The demon Maya Dhanava was an inhabitant of the forest Kandava. And when the Kandava forest was set on fire, he asked protection from Arjuna. Arjuna saved his life. And as a result of this, the demon felt obliged. He reciprocated by building a wonderful assembly house for the Pandavas, which attracted the extraordinary attention of all state princes. They felt the supernatural power of the Pandavas, and thus, without grudge, all of them submitted and paid tributes to the emperor. The demons possess wonderful and supernatural powers to create material wonders, but they are always disturbing elements of the society. The modern demons are the harmful material scientists who create some material wonders for disturbance in the society. For example, the creation of nuclear weapons has caused some panic in human society. Maya was also a materialist like that, and he knew the art of creating such wonderful things. And yet Lord Krishna wanted to kill him. When he was chased both by the fire and by the wheel of Lord Krishna, he took shelter of such a devotee as Arjuna, who saved him from the wrath of the fire of Lord Sri Krishna. Devotees are therefore more merciful than the Lord. And in devotional service, the mercy of a devotee is more valuable than the mercy of the Lord. Both the fire and the Lord ceased from chasing the demon as soon as both of them saw that the demon was given shelter by such a devotee as Krishna, as Arjuna. This demon, feeling obliged to Arjuna, wanted to do him some service to show his gratefulness, but Arjuna declined to accept anything from him in exchange. Lord Sri Krishna, however, being pleased with Maya for his taking shelter of a devotee, asked him to render service unto King Yudhisthira by building a wonderful assembly house. The process is that, by the grace of a devotee, the mercy of the Lord is obtained. And by the mercy of the Lord, a chance to serve the Lord's devotee is obtained. The club of Bismasen was also a gift of Maya Dhanava. So, Hare Krishna, Sila Prabhupada, Kijay. So, this is a really important ver uh, purport because it makes it very clear that demons have exceptional powers that they develop by doing severe austerities. And usually they use those powers to bewilder people. So, they build airplanes and rockets and atomic bombs and tunnels under the underwater and tunnels through mountains and uh, cell phones and digital technology and uh, they harness electromagnet electromagnetism and so forth and dazzle people with all these gadgets that just helps them become more and more degraded in material life and increases their desires for sense gratification, makes them lose their faith in God and put their faith, transfer their faith to the science of the demons. So we see Krishna did not have any digital technology, no cell phones, no televisions, no phones, but he had a different network, uh, internal network. And he was a cowboy. 
and he engaged in protecting cows, and uh, his father was engaged in uh, producing grains and vegetables and things like that, and of course overseeing the protection of the cows. And they lived a natural, simple life without all these appurtenances or gadgets cars that spew out toxic uh, carbon monoxide, airplanes that spew out toxins, and artificial fertilizers, and artificial this, and artificial that, and all kinds of inorganic molecules, all productions of demoniac science. The whole inorganic molecule industry was created by, by, by demoniac, demoniac science, scientists. And therefore, therefore, they replaced gold and silver plates with plastic and so forth. And they, and they make ceramic, ceramic things, things, but with toxic uh, co uh, coatings and so forth. So everything has become denatured. So the Prophet, Prophet says that demons possess wonderful and supernatural powers to create material wonders, but they are always disturbing elements of the society. The modern demons are the harmful material scientists who create some material wonders for disturbance in the society. Notice he says, uh, can, the demons say, oh no, we, 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 all the things we create are to make life easier for the human beings. Yeah, easier so they can have more sense gratification. Not easier so they can go back to Godhead. Easier so they became, become more entangled, more distracted from spiritual life, more distracted from hearing and chanting and living a simple life, uh, close to nature. And, and therefore, although it looks wonderful, it's actually horrible. It ruins people's lives. So Maya was also a materialist like that, and he knew the art of creating such wonderful things. And yet, Lord Krishna wanted to kill him. When he was chased both by the fire and by the wheel of Lord Krishna, he took shelter of such a devotee as Arjuna, who saved him from the wrath of the fire of Lord Sri Krishna. Devotees are therefore more merciful than the Lord, and in devotional service, the mercy of the devotee is more valuable than the mercy of the Lord. Well, Prabhupada explains this also in Bhagavad Gita. I've read it before, but we'll look at it again. You see, when we said yesterday, Bhagavad Prabhupada is always consistent. He never contradicts himself. And, and therefore, uh, Therefore, uh, we see that although he's written so many things, so many books, thousands and thousands of pages, there's no contradiction. He's always consistent. So in the uh, devotees are more kind to the Lord and take risks to approach ignorant men. So, it's 196. Let's take a look at that. Prabhupada explains in the purport to the third chapter, 20, 29th verse, in the purport, men who are ignorant cannot appreciate activities in Krishna consciousness, and therefore Lord Krishna advises us not to disturb them and simply waste valuable time. But the devotees of the Lord are more kind than the Lord because they understand the purpose of the Lord. Consequently, they undertake all kinds of risks, even to the point of approaching ignorant men to try to engage them in the acts of Krishna consciousness, which are absolutely necessary for the human being. So they undertake. The, the devotees of the Lord are more... Uh, are more... Uh, kind than the Lord himself, and they undertake all kinds of risks. Okay, so then, again, Prabhupada says, uh, later on in Bhagavad Gita, in 56, he 
He says, says, hmm. He, he says, says, but, but it, it so happens, happens that some, that some so uh, uh, Krishna says, Shadavan uh, Anasuyas Cha Srinuyat Apiyonara. And one who listens with faith and without envy becomes free from sinful reactions and attains to the auspicious planets where the pious dwell. But before that verse, uh, 1871, he says, Idam This confidential knowledge may never be explained to those who are not austere or devoted or engaged in devotional service, nor to one who is envious of me. So, in the purport, Prabhupada says in 1871, the Bhagavad Gita is for the devotees only. But it so happens that sometimes a devotee of the Lord will hold open class. Why do such persons hold open class? It is explained here that although not everyone is a devotee, still there are many men who are not envious of Krishna. They have faith in him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. If such a person hears from a bona fide devotee about the Lord, the result is that they become at once free from all sinful reactions and after that attain to the planetary system where all righteous persons are situated. Therefore, simply by hearing Bhagavad Gita, even a person who does not try to be a pure devotee attains the result of righteous activities. Thus, a pure devotee of the Lord gives everyone a chance to become free from all sinful reactions and to become a devotee of the Lord. So you see, this is why it says it. This is why it's saying today in the purport that devotees are therefore more merciful than the Lord and in devotional service, the mercy of the devotee is more valuable than the mercy of the Lord. This, these are amazing statements by Prabhupada. So yesterday, a very interesting thing happened. Uh, Nri Hari and myself discussed expanding our Sankatan movement. And Nri Hari experienced something very interesting. I told him, you know, you set up, you set up uh, a cloth on the ground near the food truck and you set it up with a little altar and a lot of, a lot of little things that are very fascinating for people uh, and uh, we're going to get also a uh, Havan Kun do very small little Havan or uh, fire sacrifice and just chant with your harmonium and people will come and be fascinated by all the little things that you spread out on your uh, cloth and the fact that you're just sitting there and you're, you're happy and chanting and you have some prasadam and there's some incense. And I said, that, uh, try this. So, so what happened? Probably you explain. Go ahead. Here, take the microphone and explain. Take the microphone. Well, it was uh, an amazing experience. As soon as I got there and then I set up everything, people just... I didn't see you set up a cloth on the ground. No, I had, what, what, what happened is that I, I used a little table as an altar. And, and then the high table, I put the books on the high table. Well, for sitting... I, Yeah, I should have done that, yeah, but I will, I'll be doing it, I'll do that, yeah. What I did, I fold all the clothes and then I made them like a, a comfortable cushion for me to sit down. No, you want to make it comfortable for the people to sit down. Oh, see, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. I've I, I done that before anyway. Always think of the people. Don't mm. think of yourself, think of the people. Well, <clears throat> it's true. So, yeah, and then uh, I just was singing and Chanting Hare Krishna and the food truck was there, people coming. It was, it was really, you could see that people um, in line waiting to, to be served. And, you know. 
and they enjoying the the kirtan. And then and, and then people, some they come, some young people they come to they just sat down, and then they give donation. Then they try to offer them a book. They said, no, I just want to listen. I said, oh, that's the thing. I sat down, and then another young lady came, same thing, and gave a nice donation, and then I offered a book. And then she asked, what the book's about? And then I explained, it's about the science of the soul. Oh, she was really, that really uh, affected me, exactly. And she said, wow. And then, uh, and then so you can choose one of the books, and then she, she took the yoga. I said, ah, he said, and then asked him, do you know the yoga? She said, um, yeah, I know the yoga, but I said, yoga means spirituality. So spirituality means to understand who you are. So we, in, in, in other words, we, yeah, we're not this body. And then I started saying, we're not this body. And then I gave so many analogies how the soul is different from the body, like dead body, we're different between dead body and, and living body. Yeah. Do you feel happy doing this? Oh, it's, it's more than being happy. It's something, it's transcendental, you know. <laughs> we're not in a mission. This is, we're not in a mission. mission is sanctifying, yeah. preaching. To share with people. Stop growing. Mm. You don't grow anymore. You remain a midget. Right. Stagnant. Stagnant. Yeah. Yeah. Stagnant. <laughs> <Like stale water. laughs> it's my understanding is like, like because, because many times for us we to follow the footprints of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's his mission. So it's a mission to love. The, the sign of love is sharing. When you love, you want to share. Yeah, yeah, when, when you, you love, love, then naturally, naturally you want to share. So uh, it's very interesting uh, experience. Uh, I talked to a few people, but mainly two people who really were interested. You know, some people they just, you know, they appreciate, but they. they uh, those two people uh -huh. were waiting for you in their life. That could be true, because. Their reaction was actually was like that. The reaction gave that impression that they actually they were. Therefore, we don't go out. Nothing happens. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. I'll turn that one off. We okay. have to go out. Give that some more. Yeah. Yeah. I remember one time we had this uh, discussion. I was uh, preaching in this church, and then uh, we had this kind of like uh, Easter gospel with the debate. We're preaching, we're going out, we're giving invitations, but hardly people come to the temple. But Maharaj gave a very nice, um, you know, um, he made a very nice point. He said, look, everywhere is the temple. Yes. If the people don't come to this building, you go in the street, it's a temple. Yes. So you have to go meet people. Yes. How can you expect the conditions not to come? You have to go to them. Yes. That was really That is the most important point. Yeah. So, uh, you, 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 so are you going to do this now regularly? Well, yes, Marge. You know, I, mean, I mean, I don't want to speak about myself, uh, but all my life is consciousness. Just hold, hold the, the mic, mic in your hand. It's not, it's not working. How come it's not working? It's not working. Okay. okay. We, have we have to have, have two mics, mics working all the time now. So, my life is uh, oh, Okay. Turn on. So, so, what's it turned on? on? Yeah. Probably by the you see that, that mic? That's the, uh, I know, I know, switch. I know. 
So anyway, Morris, it was beyond, you know, it was transcendental experience. And then you feel that people need, they need that. Yeah. And a way to go to people. Yeah, we're not, we're not just distributing food, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, even though it's prasadam, it's been right. offered to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it's very beneficial. But we have to be there to answer their questions, to give them a chance to discover what is Krishna consciousness. We're not just distributing food, right? But that that's not really beneficial. Of course, it's prasadam and it's different, but it's most effective when the devotee can, you know, inspire people to ask questions and uh, that take a book. That's exactly what happened yesterday because the young lady, she got the prasadam. Oh, she got the prasadam, and then she got the book. She got the donation. We think about when I just try and try to explain the science of the soul. We know this body and the difference between soul and the body and the karma, things like that. They, she, she was, was just fascinated. fascinated. She, she just sat, sat down, down put prasadam aside, and just uh, asked questions. Yeah. Not, not, not only ask, ask, uh, ask, 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 ask some really uh, nice questions, questions, like perfect questions. Question. Perfect, perfect answer. answer. <laughs> perfect answer. <laughs> yeah, by Prabhupada's mercy and good, and I got all these uh, analogies and explain about the, the soul, the body, and then the, the karma, the soul is eternal. And she was completely fascinated when I said that. See, the, the soul never dies. Yeah. She said, look, nobody wants to die. Yeah. You know, that because factually, the soul has no beginning and end, and it's eternal. And when she heard that, she she wow. And then, uh, OK. Um, that was the main thing, you know? Yeah, it, this is what makes devotees enthusiastic. And people that refuse to come out of Sankirtan, their life, spiritual life, is stunted. They don't progress. So you progress by spreading the good message of Krishna consciousness. You don't progress by, you know, just staying in a comfort zone. You have to push yourself to go out and... and do, do good, good to, to others. Falena put it. It's para upakar, doing good to others. And one lecture, Shri Prabhupada, I think Shri Prabhupada, second again to 10 verse, I can't remember exactly. He, he, he explained how he started this Sankirtan movement in New York. So he was alone. He used to go at least for going to park for three hours, if not one hour, three hours. You see, the point here is. We should not push people to buy books, mm -hmm. right? We should develop relationships with people. Right. Then they'll buy all the books, you see. True. Not, not just one book and that's it for the rest of their life because they felt as if uh, they were forced to buy the book. We want to develop relationships with people and that means we're in the same place at the same time in certain days of the week where they they're if they want to find us, they can find us there, you know. And we want to develop relationships with these people. As soon as a person has a strong relationship and gets a taste of Krishna consciousness, they'll buy all the books. That's true. And and they'll become devotees. That's what we should focus on now, not just selling a book. Right. Absolutely. We we we're not we don't have that heavy need to make money by selling books. But we have a real need to make devotees. To, to give the message, you know? Yeah. Like that young lady, she must be a student there, which is very intelligent. And she, one, one thing really she understood very clearly and made sense to her when I explained about, about God created everybody equal. Yeah. Uh, all the people. And then we always trying to promote, you know, universal brotherhood. Yeah. What that does that mean? You know, how well, are we equal? I ask this question. Look, you look different. I look different. Other people look different. What's that equality? Yeah. Yeah. So the equality is the soul. Yeah. When you understand the soul is then that's a level of understanding that we equal. Right. So the real the, the real person is the soul. And she was really, really Yeah. I said this is a science. Yes. Said, All right. So yeah. now you're on the 
on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. I, I just, but we still need blessings. And you have to see, you have to do exactly what I said. You have to have the uh, cloth, on the, and it has to be big enough for like three or four people to sit mm -hmm. comfortably. Mm -hmm. You might even take little cushions, you know, and it, it's got to get better every time. Mm -hmm. The presentation, you know, have your little altar. We're going to have the little fire sacrifice thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, you should the incense. You have to give the incense out. We're not. We're not don't worry about giving it out. You have to give things to people. You know, we're giving prasadam. You have to give the incense. You have to take flowers. Offered, offered flowers. But the sense is they were not offered. They were like you offer it. You, you know, know how to offer, offer things, things, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay don't, don't say... Okay. Don't, don't put artificial, artificial obstacles. Mm. Right? right? Yeah. Don't, don't put artificial, artificial obstacles. obstacles. Mm -hmm. offer, it. Offer, offer it. Offer it right now. now. You can go, go and offer it into your deities. deities. Don't, don't put artificial, artificial obstacles. obstacles. You have to be a giver. They have to see you as a giver, not a taker. And, and I, I wouldn't put, put the, 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 the donation, donation box right, right in front of your. Oh, uh, uh, well, well, it was, it was in front of your uh, your harmonium. You, you, you put, put the donation box near the books, books not, not, not not in front. Right. Right. I have a little altar. altar. I, know, I know, but don't, don't put, put it in front, front of the altar. altar. It looks like you're a businessman. Do you understand? All this stuff is psychological. See, if, if you, you have, have to plan, plan all this thing, thing uh, very, very carefully, you don't, you don't want to be a mercenary person who's just, just there to make money. money. You're, You're there, there as a sadhu to, to preach, right? 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 And, and be kind, kind to people. people. You're, You're not interested in the money. money. You're not interested in selling books. books. You're interested in giving Krishna consciousness. If they see that, a lot of people are going to come. But if you put the donation box right in front of your altar, it looks, it looks like, like you're a businessman. Business mm. And, and the, the box was too big. big. You, you should have a small donation box. box. Or not, not even have a donation box. box. You can just, just have a, 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 a basket. basket. It's, it's more, more natural. natural. Yeah, I, gave I gave you those baskets. baskets. No, no, it was not the basket, but then the Prabhu from Food Truck, he, he, he just, just came with the box. No, but see, he doesn't know what he's doing. Don't depend on that Prabhu. You depend on me, not on that person. Right? Don't be misled by these people. You want, you want everything, everything to be natural, natural, natural uh, basket, basket natural, natural this, this, natural that. that. You understand? Yeah. 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 And, then and then people, people and let them see the money, money in the basket. basket. That's, That's so what? what? That's good. good. Right. But, it but it should not be in front, front of your altar or anything, anything like that. It should, it should be near, near the books, books and, you and you can have a little sign, donation for a book. Okay. All right, All right, we'll, we'll stop, stop right there. there. Very, Very good, good Prabhu. Prabhu. Big success. Now, now build. build. Every, Every day, day should be a bigger, bigger, bigger success. success. Yeah, okay. You, you have, have to make, make your, your spread has to be so impelling that people come. What's this? What's that? that? You know, what, what are you doing? doing? Uh, you know, don't, 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 don't just, just make them sit on the grass. grass. It's, it's it's not, you're not being a good host. You want to make them comfortable. Just, Just like, like you are comfortable, comfortable they, they have, have to be comfortable. comfortable. Okay, I think we're going to find a nice canopy, which is like a bit thicker, and then instead of the chatter. Well, well I, I, that's, that's all we had yesterday. yesterday. I, told I told you we have all this stuff at the farm. farm. Yeah. yeah, okay. 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 But, but use whatever is available, available easily to start, to start with. with. And, then and then people will see that every time you're coming out, some things, things, things are getting better and better. better. I hope that I'm going to get some people, because when I'm doing in kids at the same time, it will stop. Some, some of the expressions at that, that time, kids can stop as well. Because they have to speak to the, to the person. You, you stop, so, so what? what? Mm -hmm. What's, What's the difference? The, the whole idea, idea is to attract them, so that they, they ask questions. questions. But you know why? Because, like, say, that, that boy was sitting there all the way through. He was just interested. He's, He's a musician. musician. It was interesting to him. He was appreciating the, the, sing, the, the music. Okay, so, so what, what, you do, what, what you do is uh -huh. you, you get, get to a certain point where you say, oh, oh I'll sing a, a song that explains this. Mm -hmm. You have to be creative, bro. No, no, yeah, I mean, you, 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 you should, should be a musical poet. poet you see? So, so 
you don't, you don't have, have to explain, explain everything philosophically. You can explain it with a song. And, and after you sing, sing, then you explain, you explain the song. The Bhakti Vinod Thakur's songs, songs, songs are all philosophical. philosophical. Let's, Let's say she asks a question about, you know, uh, what... what he, he was interested in, in hearing. I, I understand, understand, but, but see... Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but, but you, you, you have to be creative. creative. At, At a certain point, point you want to keep the boys' interest also. So you say, you tell the girl, I'm going to chant a song, a spiritual song that explains this point. Okay? Okay. Good. Good advice. <laughs> you, have you have to, to learn, learn how to do, do this. this. Well, well uh, I've, I don't know in the past, we usually just chant Hare Krishna. Krishna and, uh, <laughs> but you also will chant Hare Krishna. You will also chant Hare Krishna. But you have, you have to be creative. creative. You, you want to keep the boy's interest. And you, you want to keep the girl there. there so you chant one of Bhakti Vinod Thakur's bhajans. That is... To, to the, the point, point mm -hmm. that's, that's being, being discussed. discussed. He's, He's got, got hundreds, hundreds thousands, thousands of bhajans. Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's so many bhajan, relevant bhajans, you know, yeah. Yeah. about preaching. Yeah. 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 So, so you, you can, can use the bhajan for preaching. preaching. Okay. 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 Haribo. 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 What? Of, of what? what? Uh, why, why should we, we play budgets? You've got, got the real thing, thing right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> See, sometimes, sometimes we, we used to play, play that. That, that, that means, means you stop, stop doing, doing it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but why, why did you stop? Um, um, um means, means there's, there's no, no answer. answer. And, and you used, used to stop. stop. Okay. okay. So, so whose fault, fault is, is that? that? Is that, is that, is that the, the people's fault, fault that you stopped? stopped? No, no, no. It's it's your fault because you're not conscious how to, how to spread Krishna, Krishna consciousness. So don't, don't stop, stop things, things that are positive. positive. But, but now, now he's going to come, he's going to be chanting, so you don't want to interfere with his chanting. You, you get, get a what? Yeah, okay. It's not, it's not only that, that. You, 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 have, you have to get, get little objects to catch, catch their attention. attention. Mm. We, we have, have a lot of those things, things at the front. Okay, okay. Okay. We said, said that I'm going to buy some shakers and and uh, uh, other, other things. things. But, but for, for the time, time being, being yesterday was a success. So, so you just, just, just build, build on it. it. There's no, no question about it. It was more, more than, than what we expected. expected. Right. right. <laughs> it's, it's just, then, then it's just realized that, that, you know, you know we're, we're just, just instrumental, you know? No, no. no. We, 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 we realized was a lot of people waiting for you. Yeah, that's for sure. A lot of people. Then afterwards, I was thinking, you see, I wouldn't have gone out they haven't gone, gone out. Those, those people, they, they, they would have gotten, gotten the opportunity. opportunity. No, no, they would have become communists or atheists or, or, or my bodies, bodies or, you know. Yeah. It's amazing. amazing. Okay, okay, good. Haribo. Haribo. Hare Krishna. You, you grow, grow spiritually by going out on Sankatan. Actually, yeah, I've told you so many. <laughs> <laughs>